Welcome back to a brand new video. We are at the Globe. It's been so long since I've been here. I've wanted to get a flat sash for so long already and I've just been overwhelmed with other videos and doing a bunch of stuff and riding the city more often, which I hope you guys enjoy. I've had this idea for this contraption for such a long time, never really pulled it off. I always had an extra deck, but then someone needed it or I had to give it to somebody. I, I never had an extra deck to play with and he just hooked me up with a brand new scooter, so you've seen. And now I have an extra deck, or two, or three, but I have enough for this project and I'm definitely, definitely going to need more decks for more of this in the future because this is actually, it looks like it's gonna work. I tried to stand on it, but it doesn't, but I feel like I just need some practice and it should work. But let me just show you. I know you guys love these contraption videos, so let me just put the camera down and I'll like bring the scooter over here. There we go. Okay, so you guys love the contraption videos where like I build something crazy with my scooter or I take a part off and switch it around and try to ride it and do tricks. The last thing we did was the pegs on the clamp. If you guys haven't seen that, click the card on the top of the screen. Make sure you check that out and I ended up being able to do a Quinn whiplash with pegs on my clamp, meaning like just nose manual. Go watch the video after you're done with this one, but you gotta watch this one first. Look what I built. Can you guys see? I built a double decker scooter. I don't know what is possible on this. Just imagine having another deck and I got it to spin around. I did change the clamp. I put on the older clamp because I didn't want to ruin my new one. I got a brand new one. I know it's gonna get scratched up. Didn't want to ruin it for this video. So we got a double decker scooter. Now before we start this video, I'm gonna show you guys what this thing looks like. So insane. So I don't have a headset in there. It's just spinning freely on the bars. The bars go straight through, and I got a clamp on the top holding it together, and a clamp on the bottom just to give yourself some space. But we got a double decker scooter, and this is something I've wanted to do for a long time. It's not dialed, so take it easy. But I wanted to do this for a while, and the coolest, coolest part about this it has its own kickstand. Now, before we get into this video, I do want to thank Envy for hooking me up with so many parts, like literally so many that I'm able to do videos like this and able to put another deck on my scooter. I'm sorry for those that need a new deck. I do a lot of giveaways, so if you subscribe to the channel, I'm always doing giveaways, including 100K giveaway. We'll get into that later on. I'm talking too much. Let's try to see if this works. Let's see what we can do. First thing to do is just to roll straight. So, the one thing that is very, very scary about this is that when you stand on the bottom deck, this thing wants to just get you like straight in the leg. So you can't mess up. You mess up once, your leg is cooked. Let's just try it. Let's see if it works. Oh, now the weirdest part about this is that the bottom scooter is going to be the one steering everything. When you put your weight on the top one, it wants to just like... I don't know. I'll see if I can go like a little further next time. That is so hard. Oh, ow! <laughs> okay, so riding on the top one is actually extremely hard. I don't get it. Like, I literally don't get it. Usually I feel like a balance point and like you can like kind of understand it. This one's a no. This one's like definitely a no. But I did see an idea for something else. Check this out. I guess this is like good practice for rewinds because you're not actually jumping, but you're like figuring out like the foot placement. And this is actually like something really good. Maybe I can actually learn my first rewind rewind. I've never done one. I don't know why I've never done one. I've never done one. And the whole world can do like 10, and I've never done one. So I'll do a few. Let me just do rewind, rewind. Now that I'm talking, might as well do it. Let's put the camera down. I'm gonna do my first freaking rewind, rewind right now. What was first? Now, the coolest part about videos like this, because it opens up a whole new dimension of tricks like tricks that are not supposed to work ever on your regular scooter but now that we've done something like this 
we're able to think something and it's tough because I have to think of stuff on the spot I'm not like prepared to do this so I don't like go home and practice tricks I'm doing it right now live trying to figure out things right now for this video and I got an idea that works so good it's like that skip it thing you guys don't remember skip it like that little like I don't know, there was like those crazy commercials back then, never had one, never used one, but it looks like that. Maybe I can do two. Let's try two. <laughs> I have to like remember that this thing is on there. I'm like holding my scooter normal, like stay. Stay. Sit. Now, there's probably so many ideas for this. There's probably so many things you can do, especially with having my flat scooter together and having the pegs on it, but it is kind of sketch. I do want to do a lot of tricks on this right now. I'm gonna try to figure some stuff out. I probably will turn the camera off, see if I can get close to some things because I have no clue. I literally have no clue. I'm doing skip it on the scooter. It's not even like a real trick. I guess it is, but let me get back to this. And before we get into the video, I just want to remind you guys that Dumb hooks it up with some of the best clothing you possibly can get your hands on for the scooter industry. Strictly scooter clothes, strictly scooter brand, only scooter riders on their company. Make sure you guys click the link in the description. Use that link because that link already has a 10% code off your entire order. You guys can get sick shirts like this. I'm always wearing these shirts super comfortably. I got tank tops, hoodies, and all that stuff. Right now it's super hot. So I'm like wearing tank tops every day, which I ran out because I wore like all of them and I was sweating like crazy. So now I'm wearing a heat wave one. Check out the link in the description. Get yourself some dumb merch. And uh, send me some outro videos wearing it. I'll put it in my videos. Now, before I try to do more stuff, I have to know or learn something. So be right back. All right. I do want to do some normal tricks. I do want to try some normal stuff. Like see if like regular tricks work with this thing still on there. Just text me, girlfriend and I want to see if I can do a hang 10. If I can hold one deck during a hang 10, I should be able to hold the other one like in my calves. The other one hold my ankles, so I should be able to hold the other one. Let's just try it. That worked very easily, but it was very scary. I don't want to do that again. I do have an idea for something, but I kind of don't want to do it yet. I'm waiting for Saki. A lot of times I get Saki in these videos because I know he'll send it like harder than me. Not saying I won't send it, but like, I guess he gives me hype. And he's supposed to come here. What time is it? He is 56 minutes late. He says he's gonna be here. What I'm thinking is to be able to do a regular tail whip. Because everything we do, we try to do at least a tail whip or a whiplash or something. I did do like the skip it thing, but that's like, the, the bottom screw didn't leave the ground. It would be sick to stand on here. Maybe we're still not gonna jump. But imagine standing on here, and then you jump, but the scooter stays on the ground, and you land back on this deck so the second floor I don't know if I want to do that it is scary because you miss your, your like shin like the middle of your shin is gonna get wrecked I have an idea I have a bad idea it's not even a good idea I have a bad idea what I'm thinking is mega spin right I want to see if I can mega spin the thing not from the second floor from like the first floor but the problem when I do that it wants to like stay out like this like I have to make sure I go like this and then catch it and then like not destroy my legs so hopefully this works, and hopefully I can still mega spin. It's been a while since I rode flat. This is bad. So it works. It works, and it works. But it's very scary because, you, like I said, the middle of your shin is going to get destroyed. It's not like your ankle. Even though ankle hurts too, we're just used to hitting ourselves in the ankle. Hitting yourself in the shin is not something we do. That's the BMX gods, that's their job. They destroy their shins, we destroy our ankles. I'm gonna try to think of some other stuff. Oh, by the way, if you guys haven't noticed, my signature wheels, I'm running three of my signature wheels at the same exact time. You guys are probably super jealous right now because they're coming out very soon. And pay attention to Envy Instagram, my Instagram. That's all I gotta say. I just cracked my ankle like 10 times. And now it's numb, which is fine. It means I can keep cracking my ankle. But I just tried a trick and I think it might work. It's like a hang 10, but now it, I'm having to deck the other way and I drop it. So now like the second floor 
back wheel is like screw fakey and I'll just show you. So like still works, like some of these tricks work and they're not like supposed to, but just to give you guys a good view of what I'm working with, look at this. This is like literally what I'm doing. Signature wheel, signature wheel, signature wheel. Three wheels on the screw, two decks, two clamps, one bar, one fork. You guys see the rest. But there's probably so many tricks you can do. There's so many tricks you can do with one scooter, one deck. Now we have a whole nother deck and I just gotta think of something different but I don't know what I want you guys to do is comment below and let me know if you want me to make another video like this I'm gonna keep going it's not like the end of the video I'm gonna keep going but I feel like if I go home and like think after riding this I'm gonna come up with more ideas imagine putting three if you guys want three leave a comment and say make a third floor leave a comment and say make a third floor say make a third floor if I got enough comments I will make the video. I will make three and I don't know what that will do, but we're not gonna have legs after that video, so I'm gonna try to do more tricks. Be right back. Let me think of something. I guess I'm like super convinced that I'll be able to manual and nose manual anything I build. And that's what I wanna do. The tail whip, we did the skip a tail. It's really hard to do the other one. We did the skip a tail whip. It's really hard to do the other tail, but I do wanna try to manual and nose manual this before we try to tail, if it's still possible. So I'll just try the manual and see if it works. Oh my god, that's so hard. That is so hard. Oh, that's the best we can get. Now I know I was on the bottom one too, but it's so hard to be on the top one. To pull back is insane. And then once you're up, it's like a whole different feeling. I'm gonna try to practice it first. I'm gonna see if I can practice it because I don't want to just try this a hundred times and then not land the trick and it's just a video of like nothing happening. So I'm gonna really practice real quick, see what else is possible, and hopefully we can manual and or nose manual this thing. This is literally the hardest thing to ever manual. If I can do one of these blocks, literally one of these blocks that is four, I just tried for so long and it is so freaking hard that I can't do it and I love manuals and I think I'm pretty good at them but not on this. If I can do one of these squares, I'll be hyped. That almost did. That almost did. But I can't even start on deck it's so hard just to ride straight. That's it. That is the hardest. manual ever in the world now nose manual is a whole different story nose manual is my favorite trick if anybody's ever asked what's my favorite trick nose manual is my favorite trick it's just not on this thing i tried it before there's so much control that is needed for this that even if i rode flat for 300 years i still wouldn't be ready for this but i'm gonna try i'm gonna see if i can do it like i said if you guys enjoy these videos, make sure you subscribe and you're commenting and you're liking these videos because these are the ones that are interesting for me because I want to see what's possible on a scooter or two or three or four to put together or taken apart. And when you guys like them, it makes me want to make more. It makes me want to put a third deck on top. Only if you comment. Put a third floor. I got it. This will probably be the hardest trick I've ever done on flat. I got an idea. You guys know Hitchhiker, that trick where I like throw the handlebars down and the deck comes up, it's between my legs. Imagine a double hitchhiker. I feel like it has to work, but I just have to hold both of the decks somehow, and this will be the bang of the video. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys are liking, commenting, and all this stuff, and of course, subscribe to the channel. I'm making videos every single day, and I'm making these videos all the time, especially now because the weather is great. It's super nice out. So please give me some motivation to make more of these videos. And please come back for more fun scooter videos in New York City. Wish me luck for this trick and hopefully it works.
that hurt. Well, that just worked. And it was probably one of the most frustrating things because in my head, I know I can hitchhiker every single try. But when I do it on this, obviously it's different, obviously it's harder. But my body is like feeling like it's supposed to be easy and I'm getting frustrated so fast. That just worked. I'm so relieved that it's done. I'm more relieved that it's done than landing it because I cannot wait to land a hitchhiker every single try. Spin it, pump it, funny how it bar spin it. That was hard. That was very hard. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed that last trick. I don't know what it's called. Double hitchhiker, double deck hitchhiker, double deck hiker. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like the video, share this with your friends. If you guys ride scooters and know someone that wants to ride scooters, show it to them, leave a comment, let me know what you guys like about videos like this. Let me know what your favorite video is, and of course comment third floor if you want me to put a third deck on this scooter, which after that trick, I don't even want to do this anymore. But you guys comment, we're gonna have to try. I just might need some help. I'll need some backup. Saki would have to show up, help me these guys the park will come through. Hopefully they are and we'll put a third deck. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you liked the video, remember to subscribe to the channel. We're making videos every single day. We're making videos like this every so often. Once the idea sprouts in my head and we get the idea and we have the tools and everything to build it, I will make it and I'll try to do my best to make tricks happen just like this one. We got the trick done, did a couple tricks, and I'm really proud, even though it was so frustrating, I am proud to be able to do that because I couldn't do a nose mail, which I'm sure that would be a lot better than a nose mail. So, hope you enjoyed, guys. Once again, I'm John, and I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. Later.